yeah, as she said, I'm Marvin B. First of all, I just want to say thank you for allowing me on your platform. It means everything, and I do not take it for granted. I'm honored to be here. Um, so anyway, uh, I was trying to share share the live, but um, I yeah, I'm about to do that too. I was uh, I was getting together, but I'm about to do the okay. same thing. But you want me to continue, or you want me? Anyway, um, I was born uh -huh. and raised in Oklahoma, yes, a small town in Oklahoma, um, majority of uh, white people, um, not a, a lot of us, but we are, um, so we, everybody knew everybody and we were like family and don't get it wrong. I have a lot of white friends that are really, that really love me genuinely and I love them. So I come from a, a small town and as I grew up, I grew up in, in, a, in a family with my two siblings, my mother and my father who were married for 50 years and my father passed away now. Um, and so, um, I was just brought up in a loving atmosphere and not that we're, we're not perfect and we, not that we didn't have issues, but for the most part, we, all I remember growing up is that I was in a happy space and that um, I was instilled with morals and value, great morals and values. And um, I was taught about family, but most of all, I was taught about, I was taught to love God and to know who God was and establish my own relationship with him. But when I was little, I just um, wanted to, I wanted to, um, I wrote a lot of plays, a, a lot of short plays, and a lot. I did a lot of journaling, a lot of that. But, you know, growing up, all my parents knew was that we needed to go to school, get our education, and that's it. It wasn't about, okay, let me follow, help you follow your dreams, because they just didn't know. And what you don't know. And so that's right. that it just went away, because right. I didn't have, you know, um, they. I didn't know what to do with it. Um, and so later on, I, I, you know, I think it comes full circle in the fact that I've walked red carpets, I've interviewed A-list celebrities. And so I kind of am in the realm of things, not quite writing movies and like I wanted to, but in the realm. And I think God just allowed, he opens doors that, you know, um, that no man can open. And what's for me is for me. And uh, what's for Ooh, others are for oh. others. So I just know that um, on this journey, yeah. um, God is directing me he is first in my life and so wherever he tells me to go that's where i'll go yes the best thing about i think the yes. best thing about me is that i love to serve my community and serve others because that's where i get my greatest reward so i'm always figuring out how i can help somebody where can i help you know and and not expecting nothing in return wow so i heard i heard it i heard that matthew six thirty three. That you seeking God first and all this righteousness and all those things are going to be added. I heard that amongst everything else that God is first and foremost in yes. your life. And that you're walking in your calling. That you had a desire in your heart and that you're, you're, filling, right. you're filling those shoes. Now, let me ask you something. I heard you say that you were interviewing celebrities and doing things. Where did that come about? Was you at a job or was you working in radio industry or was you already working None for of a that. magazine? How did so that let me about? tell you where Black Link Magazine come from and then it'll tell you how I got and and I'll tell you how it happened. Um, so nobody ever would have thought living and growing up in Bartlesville, Oklahoma, small town, that any of this would happen. But God, when God is in it, anything can happen. Anything can happen. So come on now. Um, during COVID, on. Um, my daughter. So I am an author with my daughter. Yes. She was 11 at the time. We wrote a book about bullying um, and it was all her story. And then I thought, okay, what else? Because then George Floyd, the George Floyd murder happened. And I was like, okay, what's my part? What's my part? Because all I can do is my part. I can't change people. I don't know where the That's idea right. of the magazine came from. It just happened. And so I said, okay, since I'm going to do this, I don't know how to put a magazine together. I don't know how to make it a book. I know how to write and do the content, but how do I make it an actual magazine where I can make hard copies? So um, That's right. I just started writing. I just started reaching out to local people, local in my town, like reaching out to people to give them a voice and give them a platform to tell their stories. Maybe they were on drugs and how they overcame drugs. Or how they overcame and relapsed yes. again and then overcame. Or how they have mental yes. mental issues and how do they get the help for that. Or how they are bulimic. I, I had all kinds of stories locally. But and then but then somehow right. I do not know. But um uh, Well let me help you out. Let me help you out because you keep saying that you it know God. it was that God. one number God. It was God. It was the favor. You walking in favor. You prayed. He heard your prayers. The you know the faith. The the faith. You. It sounds like you have the faith of the mustard seed. So God heard your prayers. So I want to help you to understand it was, that it was God. It, 
God gave all that to you. It's just that he caught Yeah, and off. nothing catches him by surprise, but I'm surprised. But he sent the people. He sent strangers. It wasn't people locally that was trying to help me move this magazine or do get interviews or any of that. He sent the people my way. And so I went on to, I was able to get in, get in touch with uh, Billie Holiday's niece. Um, and that was the start of it. When wow. I got a hold of her, um, she connected me with someone that was in Black Panther. Um, and interviewed them and then from there um I went into Andrea Andrea that is Billy Billy Holiday's niece she said okay you need to go on Clubhouse and I was like all right I, yeah okay and I then I finally went on Clubhouse and yeah. I got connected to the No Eagles networking room and that is where my the magazine just yeah. took took it took off because celebrities yeah. were actually coming in that room and there was actually PR people in that room that I didn't know and they were like, um, yes. and I kept going back, and it's just something that, that connected them. They didn't have to help me, but it, they always say it was something about you that we wanted to help and expected nothing in return. And from there, I started meet, just meeting people, and people started contacting me after that. After a while, they started contacting me. You want to you wanna interview Tamla Mann? You want to inter interview Bill Duke? 